Hello everyone, I'm Ron Grant coming to you live and direct from Tortola in the Virgin Islands. You're watching 284 Media. Thank you so much for your time. The BVI Tourist Board and Film Commission recently hosted their annual Junior Ambassador of Tourism competition. Today I'm honored to be joined by the winner of the competition, the lovely Miss Adrienne Thomas, alongside Miss Natalie Penn Lake, Standards and Training Manager at the BVI Tourist Board. Now, tourism is, a, of course, a topic that we continuously discuss, but I, what I love about uh, this initiative is that it's driven by our youth, of course. Adrienne is going to share us her topic as well as what the year will look like for her. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break. Some claim that the age of a true gentleman is far behind us, but we disagree. He may appear in different guises today, but the values and ideals that make him a gent still stand. The Art of a Distinguished Gentleman by yours truly, Ron Grant, presents Season 6. six, six, six. Introducing Sheldon Frett, actor, film producer, writer. Daylon Vanspool, entrepreneur. Terrence Neal, creative director. Chad George, entrepreneur. Humphrey Liu, financial services professional. Jamali DJ Molly Thomas, sales manager. Kai DeCastro, entrepreneur. Dean the Sportsman Greenaway, journalist. St. Clair Steady Fleming, entrepreneur. Devon Cowell, brand specialist. Robert Green, footballer. And Rick S. S. Grant, author, The Art of a Distinguished Gentleman. Coming June 5th, exclusively on 284 Media, inspiring a generation of greatness. Coming soon. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Thank you so much for sticking with us. As promised, I'm joined by Miss Adrienne Thomas, the 2024 Junior Ambassador of Tourism winner, and Miss Natalie Penn Lake, Standards and Training Manager. I want to thank you both for your time and welcome to our studios. It's a pleasure always. Thank Wonderful. you for having us. You're most welcome. First of all, congratulations on thank you. the success in the recent Junior Ambassador of Tourism competition. You did an amazing job. Most importantly, you captured the win and the attention of not only the, the public, but the judges. I want to start with you, Ms. Thomas. What was the overall experience like for you? It was a very uplifting experience because at first I was so nervous as to if I was going to win or not. I didn't even want to tell anybody that I was running. <laughs> but then after I won, everybody was asking, why well, you didn't tell me you were running? I would have been there so loud with a whole horn and everything. <laughs> Support, of course. So I actually did regret that part, and I wish I had more, let's see, more faith in myself mm. as to knowing I was going to win and would have had an even larger support team than I had that day. Well, thank you so much for your authenticity and honesty um, in sharing that. Uh, you were successful and you chose a topic, of course, to present and discuss. Uh, tell us about the topic and why you decided to choose it. I chose the topic solo travel out of all four topics. And the reason why I chose that was because out of all the topics, I was looking for a topic that I could relate to the most because that would mean I was able to deliver my points more vividly and with more heart than the other topics. And I feel like with my age and what I like, what I like to do, I feel like solo travel is something I actually would find myself doing so I found it very easy to actually deliver that topic compared to the rest. Exceptional and for persons like myself uh, to be honest who are not familiar with what solo travel is please, please explain it to us. 
Solo travel is basically going somewhere that you are not familiar with all alone without anyone with you, without basically a tour guide, no family members, no nothing. You do a little background on the community or the area you're going to before you go there so that you have a level of safety and knowledge before you enter it. And then when you reach, you don't have any, basically anybody telling you where to go and you're not with a group or anything. You are all alone and all you have to do is follow the signs and have a map on your own and just basically know where you're going. And that would cause a whole different experience than if you were with someone. Wonderful. Have you ever experienced, uh, even in the BVI, having done that level of traveling, even whether it's on Tortola, Virgin Gorda, have you done any exploring of any kind? Not on my own, okay. sadly. No problem at all. Now, what would you say was your biggest takeaway from this competition? I would say my biggest takeaway is the level of, basically the level of experience I'm about to have mm -hmm. with everything. As I'm a kind of person that anytime anyone asks me, you should do this. I would just jump up and take the opportunity and do it, no matter how scared I am. Okay, well, congratulations again, and I know that you will uh, represent us well along with the help of Miss uh, Penn Lake. Uh, Miss Penn Lake, this competition has been, has become rather a staple, and one that I, just like I said earlier, we're always talking about tourism, uh, but I'm happy to see it being driven and spoken of by our youth. Uh, for, recap for us uh, the overall uh, competition and what were some of your takeaways? All right, so this year's competition was a major hit for us at the BVI Tours Board and Film Commission and myself because, like I mentioned prior, you know, we had a team of nine students participating. One dropped out at the last minute, so we had eight. Okay. Right? Um, that was a huge number. We had participation from every secondary school throughout the territory. That was major in itself for us. Um, this competition has been going on for over 10 years. It was something that when I came to the board, it was put down on the side. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what, I could pick this up and dust it off and make it shiny. That you and did. I think that's what I did. And I'm really, really proud of it. Um, Imagine as the winner is Miss Adrian Thomas of the Elmastor High School. We are exceptionally proud of her. We can't wait to, for her to experience what we have mm -hmm. on board for her, for her reign. Um, she's going to start off by doing her internship with the Morin starts in July. It's a paid internship and that way she'll be immersed into the industry as it relates to all the different areas that the Morins have and she could um, experience that firsthand. So we're excited about that for her. She'll be representing the BVI at the regional competition in Cayman Islands this year. An all expense paid trip for her to represent us on that level and of course all the different things that we have going on she will also be a part of, of that as well. Wonderful. And I'd like to add, of course, that the winner, Miss Adrienne Thomas, is going to be an official CCT ambassador, of course, uh, helping promote the local brand of CCT. Now, Miss Penn, when you look at the longevity of the, the, the competition, uh, what are you most proud of? What I'm most proud of is to see students who have won this competition pick up tourism careers. Mm. We have had about two winners who work with the BVI Tourism Board currently. Wonderful. And that's for us, that's, that's a win. That's a win-win for us. So what we're trying to do with this competition is just for students to be more aware of what the tourism industry have to offer and be able to speak that, speak that lingo and be able to understand the level of importance it brings to the BVI. All right. And Ms. Thomas, you mentioned earlier that uh, you wish you had more faith in yourself. I'd like you to speak to persons who are your age who might be looking at you and saying, hmm, I could participate in that or I could do this. What would you say to uh, those peers like yourself who are scared or apprehensive and they want to try something new but they, they, they're not willing to maybe step out on a limb? I would tell them that if you see it, you can actually achieve it and there's actually power in the tongue. Hmm. So as long as you say, I will win this, I got this, then you actually do have it. Um, there's no power in doubt or anything. You have to believe in yourself 24-7. Once the second you stop doing that, you're letting it win. Understood. And is there anyone that you'd like to thank uh, for assisting you throughout this process thus far? Yes. I would like to thank my mother, my father, 
my two best friends and my team, Miss Weeks, Mr. Messiah, and Mr. Finley. Wonderful. Well, congratulations again, and Miss uh, Penn Lake. Kudos to you and your team again for an exceptional event that really solidifies uh, the tourism product starting from the youth. So congratulations, and thank you both for stopping by. Thank you for having us. All right, viewers, that is all the time we have. You heard it here first from the newly crowned uh, recipient, the 2024 Junior Ambassador of Tourism, Ms. Adrienne Thomas, along with the Standards and Training Manager at the BVI Tourist Board, Ms. Natalie Penn Lake. Ms. Thomas is officially the Ambassador, Junior Tourism Ambassador of the BVI, and ahead of her is a year of exciting opportunities, and we, of course, uh, will be supporting her along that way. Have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye.